rule of oscillator rule of oscillator there is a two rules positive oscillator and negative oscillator note it down then i will going to explain so now look at this. in oscillator when we are going to discuss the rule of disunity we haven't discussed the rule of 7 13 17 19 or if we have discussed i just told you that do the multiplication with 2 and then subtract here i told you to do the multiplication with 4 and then add here i told you to do the multiplication with 5 and subtract and here what i told you do the multiplication with 2 and then add i haven't told you why we are doing all this so same thing we are going to discuss here uh, here you can see that we are doing minus and plus minus and plus why because there is a two kind of oscillator positive oscillator and negative oscillator and today we are going to discuss both oscillator first we are going to understand what is the oscillator then we are going to understand how to find the positive oscillator and how to find the negative oscillator based on that we are going to use to find the divisibility of any number so first understand what is the meaning of oscillator and what the use of oscillator actually so oscillator is helpful to find the divisibility of any number it's having two following types the first one is positive oscillator so what does it mean by positive oscillator when the multiple of number end with 9 multiple of number end with 9 so first we have to understand what is the multiple so can you tell me what is the multiple of 7 uh, 7 14 21 28 35 42 49 all these are the multiple of 7, seven right so in this multiple of 7 i told you when the multiple of number end with 9 so any number which is going to end with 9 this is only 49 this is the first number which is going to end with 9 unit place value is 9 that is the meaning of number is ending with 9 and all these numbers something the unit place is having a different one so i will go till the number given we are going to get the unit place value 9 now i got the number in with 9 then then what then tens place value of the next number 10 place value of the next number it means what i'm not talking about this 49 i'm talking about the next value that is the 50 and that tens place value or 100 place value whatever the value you will get that is called as the oscillator because you are going forward direction means after 49 you got 50 so in this case the oscillator will be the positive so plus 5 and this is the positive oscillator okay let's understand once again i told you what i told you when the multiple of number end with 9 so suppose there is a number 9 so this number itself multiple with 9 end with 9 as well so multiple of 9 is already end with 9 so we don't have to go with the 18 or 27 because this number itself is in with 9 so what we have to do we have to go to the next then tens place value of the next value so next value will be 10 and tens place value is what 1 so the oscillator of 9 is 1 you can see that the positive oscillator of 9 is 1 everybody got it similarly the positive positive oscillator of 7 is what 7 7 7 is a 49 and next value is 50 so positive oscillator is 5 so this is clear now we are going to discuss about the positive oscillator of 13 how to find the oscillator of 13 so finding the oscillator of 13 again we have to find the multiple of 13 13 26 39 and in this term you will get the unit plus value ending with 9 so we are going to stop it now next step is what go ahead with the one digit so 39 next value is 40 and what is the tens place value 4 oh so what is the positive oscillator 4 so 13 four. positive oscillator is 4 get it everyone now if i'm going to ask you to find the positive oscillator of 17 how you are going to find the positive oscillator tell me 17 34 51 next 68 85 102 still no any value is ending with 9 right all these values are different we need only number which is going to end with 9 so next value is 119 so now look at this so 17 7 are 119 so 119 is multi ending with 9 so what i'm going to do i'm going to get this number and this is the positive oscillator of 7, 17 so what is the positive oscillator of 17 11 11 call it plus 11 okay what is the positive oscillator of 23 23 66 46 and 16 now 9 is ending with 9 so the next value is what 50 70 sorry 70 and 7 is the positive oscillator so i'm going to write down plus 7 is the positive you can find the positive oscillator of any number very easy 
Suppose I'm going to ask you 929. So in the case of 29, the first number itself is in with a 9. Sir, so 3. 3. So 3 will be the positive. So in this way, you can find the positive oscillator of any number. Now I'm going to discuss the negative oscillator. Now look at it. What is negative oscillator? So in negative oscillator, if you are going to read, you will find that this is just a little opposite to the positive oscillator. So when the multiple of number, here also we are going to find the multiple of number. But that should be end with 1. Instead of end with a 9, here we are going to check the value which is ending with 1. Then, tens place value of the previous number is called as the negative value. It means, if the number is suppose 7. So, find the multiple of 7. 7, 14, 21. So, this 21 is end with 1. As it says that multiple of number end with 1. So, yes, this number is end with 1. Now, what? Then, tens place value of the previous number. What is the previous number of 21? 20. So, tens place value of the previous number is the negative oscillator. So, this is the tens place value. So, minus 2 is the negative oscillator. You can see that 21 negative oscillator is, get it everyone. Now, look at this 7 I am talking about. I, I talk about the 7 now. I am talking about 21 now. Now, in the case of 21, you can see that we are going to find the multiple of 21. Tell me, what is the multiple of 21? 21. 42. 42. Actually, we don't have 42. to find the 42 because this number itself is in with 1. one. So we are going to stop here. So next, before previous value is 22. What is the negative oscillator? Minus 2. Minus. In both cases, you get the minus 2 is the negative oscillator. Get it, everyone? So now look at this. Suppose I'm going to find the 17 oscillator. So now we have a two options. Positive oscillator and negative oscillator. So if I have to find positive oscillator, we will going to check the number which is in with 9. If we have to check the negative oscillator, then we have an option to find the number unit plus value which is ending with 1. That is the only difference. So now you can see this. In the previous example, we find a, we found positive oscillator. And how we found it? We go through the 1 by 1, 1 by 1, and 1. And in the last, you got 1, 1, 9. So when the number is in with 9, the tens place and hundred place value is the positive oscillator. So you got 11 is the positive oscillator. But if I have to find, what was the number here? So if I have to find negative oscillator, we will going to find the value which is ending with one. So you can see that this number is ending with one. 51 is ending with one. So yes, sir. previous value of 51 is 50. So what is the negative oscillator? Minus five. Minus five. So the positive oscillator is plus one or negative oscillator is Minus five. Get it? Uh, suppose there is a number uh, 13. Okay. Now tell me the positive and negative oscillator of this number. Everyone, find the positive and negative oscillator of 13. Sir, positive is 4. Negative? Sir, 9. 9 or minus 9. This is important. If you can say the positive only for that fine because by default value is positive. But if you have to find negative, you should say negative. Okay. So how this is possible, the plus 4 and minus 9, because in this 13, the number 39 is going to end with 9. So now next value is 40, so 4 is the positive oscillator. In this case, 91 is the number which is in with 1. So 1 will going to end with, 91 will end with 1, so it means I'm going to go to the previous value of 91, that is 90, so 9 is the positive. So now I'm going to discuss about how to use this oscillator in the next one. Okay, now look at this. So now you know the positive oscillator and you know the negative oscillator. Yes or no? Let's going to use the concept of oscillator to understand the divisibility. So that is the actual use of the divisibility. So now I'm going to discuss here. Look at this, everyone. Suppose I'm going to ask you to check 4985. 4985 is divisible by 23 or not? Do you have any rule of divisibility for 23? Tell me. No, Anybody sir. have the rule of 23? Yes, rule of divisibility? No. No, sir. There is no direct rule. So first we are going to find, first we are going to find the oscillator. This is the step. Find the oscillator of 23. Tell me what is the oscillator of 23? You can say positive or negative, whatever you want to say. Sir, positive is 7. And negative will be the bigger than 7. So you can leave it. Okay? Whatever the smaller value is, you can take that value. So in this case, 7 is the positive oscillator and we are going to go ahead with the positive. So how we are going to proceed with it? 
actually the process is remain for every number is same like 7 will going to multiply with 5 so tell me 7 into 5 the unit place value will going to multiply with 7 tell me 7 into 5 45 45 45 45 7 into 5 is 35. So I'm going to multiply 5 and 7. Always the unit place value will going to multiply with oscillator. So 7 into 5 is 35. And that number will going to add with 498 because this is eliminate. So now add 35 here. 8 plus 5, 13. 9 plus 3, 12 plus 1, 13. 4 plus 1. Again, 5, 3, 3 is the bigger number, and we can't say that that number is divisible by 22. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to eliminate three again, and three will going to multiply with seven. So use of oscillator is to always multiply the unit place value with seven. So seven three is at twenty one. Add it. After adding it, you will get seventy four, and seventy four is not divisible by twenty three, right? So this four nine eight five is also not divisible by twenty. Got it? Yes. Now I'm going to discuss the second problem. Seven three nine two. The seven three nine two, and I'm going to ask you this number is divisible by twenty one or not? This is the question. Okay, so what you have to do first, you have to find the divisibility. To find the divisibility of seven three nine two, you have to find the oscillator of twenty one. What is the oscillator of twenty one? So Anybody? negative of three is two. We can easily find out negative. That is minus two because unit place value is one. So we can find very easily. So minus two is the negative oscillator. Now what we are going to do? We are going to multiply it with the unit place value. So do the multiplication. Seven three nine is there already. This seven three nine and two will going to multiply with two. So two two ja four four and four will going to subtract here. Why? Because this is the negative oscillator. So if you are going to multiply instead of addition, we are going to do subtraction. So nine minus four is five three seven. Now next again we can't say that this seven thirty five is divisible by twenty one or not. So we are going to eliminate this five. Now five will going to multiply with again two minus two is same. Ten subtract ten, you will get sixty-three. So this sixty-three is divisible by twenty-one. Yes or no? Seven three nine two is also divisible by twenty-one. Get it? So now I'm going to ask you the new question. Can you do the question? Tell me, four nine eight five is divisible by seventeen or not? Yes or no? Tell me, everyone. Tell me the answer. Yes or no? Fourteen four nine eight five is divisible by seventeen or not? So the process is what to check the divisibility of 4985 with 17. First, we have to find the oscillator. To find the oscillator, you can simply say that 17 multiple 17, 34, and 51. So now this number is in with one. So I'm going to stop it. Okay, whatever the number will come, one or nine, we will going to stop there. That will help you. So one is there. So I'm going to stop it. So what is the next value? Previous value of 51. So what is the negative oscillator? Minus five. Minus. So that minus five will going to multiply with five. So what you will get? Twenty five. Twenty five. Four ninety. That twenty five. I'm going to subtract from four ninety. Minus twenty five. You will get four seventy three. Now, again, we can't say that four seventy three is divisible by seventeen or not. So I'm going to eliminate this three again, and three will going to multiply with minus five. So which this is fifty. So subtract it. We will get thirty-two, and in this case, we can say that what? What we can say that four nine eight five is not divisible by seventeen. This number is not divisible by seventeen, so the whole number is also not divisible by. Tell me the answer of next question. Eight nine five three six is divisible by nineteen or not? Yes or no? Now look at this. Eight nine five three six. Is the number which I have to check with the 19. So I'm not going to divide this number. So I'm not going to divide this number with 19. Instead of that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find the oscillator of 19, and that is very easy because number itself is not ending with 9. So the next value is what? 20. So 2 is the positive oscillator. Yes or no? Now, how we are going to proceed with 6 will going to multiply with 2. Always the unit place value will going to multiply with 2. And we're going to add in the remaining number. So eight nine five three is the number, and six into two is going to add here. So we will get six five nine eight. Now, again, we can't say that that number is divisible by nineteen. So I'm taking five, and five will going to multiply with two. So five two jump. Same. Add it here. So six zero nine. 
Now again, this number is big, so I'm going to eliminate six again. Six will going to multiply with two. Six two is at twelve. I'm going to write down. If you are going to add it, you will get one zero. Now, if you are going to check the one zero two, you can't say that this number is divisible by nineteen. Why? Because nineteen five is ninety. Nineteen into five is ninety, and that number says that this number is not divisible because ninety six is will become a one one. So this number is not divisible by nineteen. It means the whole number is also not divisible by nineteen. Get it, everyone? Do the last question from today class. And then this topic will going to end. The question is eight six six four two is divisible by forty three. You have to check is this number divisible by forty three? Yes or no? No. What is the process? Let's check how to find the forty three oscillator. Three so times. Into three is one two nine. One two nine. So neg negative oscillator or positive oscillator? Ah, uh, positive. What is the positive value? Thirty. Thirteen will going to multiply with two. What is thirteen into two? Twenty-six, and we'll going to add into the remaining number. Sir, I didn't miss zero. It. Okay, now this this is zero. So you can eliminate zero, or if you wanted to uh, go ahead with the zero, the zero will going to multiply with thirteen, so you will get zero. So that is the reason I told you adding the zero is not making any sense. So just eliminate. Now eight six nine is the number. Now nine will going to multiply with thirteen. So nine nine thirteen one one seven. So add this number seven six. Now tell me two zero three is divisible by forty three. This is very small number. We can say that forty five ja two hundred right and three five ja two fifteen. It means that number is not divisible by forty three. So this two zero three is not divisible by forty three. So this number is also not divisible by forty three. Got it.